Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com and these are the market positions for March the 10th, 2009. Now our first position tonight we're going to be looking at New York Light Suite Crude in the futures market. Our pivot support comes in at 79.29, 80.58 and 81.37. We can see that we have a crossover from vantage point that's taken place here on or about the middle of February. We've been moving aggressively higher. We can see that these can the wicks of these candlesticks are in constant contact with the predicted exponential, exponential moving averages from vantage point. We're now moving, continuing this move higher. So the only thing we can look at here is that we're slightly moving into overbought territory. Now, again, when we're heading into overbought territory, that doesn't mean that it's, it's going to pull back or it doesn't have the room, room to extend. So in theory, we can still buy the high and uh, sell the low in this particular case. So in this case, we're going to be buying the high. Uh, even though we're up in this 81.49 area, all our stops will be below the 79. 29 area. So with that said, we're going to go in, have a look at the daily report from Vantage Point, see what's happening there. Now, again, with the daily report, we're looking for a predicted high, predicted low. Uh, they've been quite accurate lately. Tomorrow, we're looking at a low of 80.64 and a high of 82.36. So 80.64, neural index is up, predicted difference is all positive. 80.64 is our predicted low. So now let's match that up to our 3, 8, and 18-day predicted exp exponential moving averages. So we can see here the 8-day predicted exponential moving average from vantage point comes in at 80.58. We're going to be using that point for a pullback to get into our buy positions. Now again, the predicted RSI definitely in overbought territory. So we're going to we're going to look a little closer at this since we've been able to identify that it is clearly overbought. Uh, we're going to add some other indicators here to see if this thing is getting ready to turn. Now, the first one I like to use here is the short-term crossover from vantage point. The short-term crossover we can see is not taken place. It's still holding to the upside. Now, if the short-term crossover had crossed over the uh, five-day simple moving average, which is the, the predicted two-day exponential moving average from vantage point crossing over the five-day, that would suggest that crude being overbought is going to pull back lower. But we don't have that short-term crossover, so that's that's a, certainly a point of interest here uh, for us. Now, we're going to look at the predicted TSI from vantage point also, the true strength indicator. Uh, again, we're in overbought territory. We just recently bounced off the trigger. However, we did not get that cross to the downside, so further upside potential on crude oil uh, certainly appears likely. Now, adding our third indicator here, we're going to add our predicted MACD. The predicted MACD is sitting right on the trigger, getting ready to cross. Difficult to say whether that's going to take place or not, but for now, uh, everything points to the light suite crude continuing to move higher. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to hit that. We're going to hit apply to all. Now, Again, as, as if you remember from the Forex market outlook from the week, the New York Light Suite crude has had a very high correlation to the equity markets. So in this particular case, again, we're going to take the Light Suite crude, we're going to use that as our base, and then we're going to compare it up against the equity markets. Now, looking at this, we can see here from vantage point that the crossover that's taken place between the S&P 500 and the New York Light crude is almost taken place at the exact same time. So we have a very clear signal on this S&P 500 that it's going to continue to move higher. We've closed at 11.40.50 today. Uh, the pivot support in this case comes in at 11.12.84, 11.24.68, and 11.35.47. So with this very clear buy signal that we have on the S&P 500 index and the correlation to the light sweet crude, this makes our buy position on the light crude on a pullback, uh, again, very attractive. So we're using that, uh, again, to, to help confirm our buy position on the New York crude. Now, if we also look and take the correlation it has to metals, uh, copper, again, almost identical to the light sweet crude with the commodities moving up together. Copper contracts moving, the crossover has taken place, again, almost exact same time. We take it one step further we have a look at these silver contracts. Again, silver lag behind the market somewhat by about a week, but eventually the crossover from vantage point took place on the, on the silver also. 
Now, to go one metal further, we look at the palladium. Palladium had ran flat for, for a considerable period of time, but based on the correlations to the other commodities, the New York crude and the equities, palladium also broke higher. So this is a very, with these multiple correlations to the uh, numerous metals, the, uh, the equities, this all suggests that we have a fresh new trend in commodities that they're all going to extend higher. So it's very important we look at all of these things in our trading. Now, with that said, that's our first position today in the light sweet crude. Our next position, we're going to be looking into the equity markets. Now, specifically, we're going to be looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Futures contracts. We can see here that we've got the crossover again from vantage points taking place about the middle of February. We're now currently, we've closed at 10,564, very strong close. We're going to identify our three levels of pivot support, 10,532. 10,461 and 10,377. So what we're going to do now, we've identified that we want to get into buy positions on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. We're now going to go into the daily report from Vantage Point and again match our predicted exp exponential moving averages to the predicted highs and predicted lows for tomorrow. Now looking at the, at the market for tomorrow, the predictions from Vantage Point on the predicted lows and the predicted highs, 10,519 is the predicted low. 10.613 is the high, neural index is up, predicted differences differences all positive. So again, our focus here, 10.519 is the predicted low from vantage point. Uh, we can see here that we've got a, a mixed number of supports, so we're going to use the actual predicted low, not the predicted exponential moving averages from vantage point tomorrow as our entry point at the 10.519 area. So on a pullback towards that 10,519 area that we're then going to be looking for a move over 10,600. 10, That's our goal for tomorrow. We have a very good uh, possibility of that happening. But, but first, we want to let the market pull back so we can get into that buy position. Now, with that, with that said, we're going to go in, have a look at the short-term crossover from vantage point to make sure that in the short term, we don't have a move that's going to move aggressively lower. The short-term crossover we can see is not taking place. We've got a nice wide gap here, so everything looks good for this thing, for the pullback to be relatively shallow for tomorrow based on the vantage point analysis. Now, again, we're going to add in our predicted RSI from vantage point to see if we're overbought. Uh, clearly we are, so this is definitely a concern at the 90 level. We're going to add again the predicted TSI from vantage point to see where we're at with that. Predicted TSI, we've actually just bounced off the trigger and are moving higher, so we're going to ignore the predicted RSI indicator for now being an overbought territory. We'll certainly take that into consideration, but we're, not go we're going to overlook that and stick with our buy positions based on vantage points indicator, the predicted true strength indicator. Now, again, we're also going to add the predicted MACD here, see where that's at. Predicted MACD, uh, we're not in overbought territory yes, yet, but we can see that the trigger is turning down and getting ready to cross over, but not yet. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to stick with our buy positions from now, for now and uh, plan for a move over that 10,600 mark probably by the week's end. So those are the market positions for March the 10th, 2010. And again, my name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com.